Hey yo, it's your boy Dick Face or whatever. No, we're not gonna do that. Hi, my name is Ale and welcome to A Pint of Ale. Don't forget to hit that little thumbs up button. It helps out with the videos. This week on Facebook, I noticed a story that Pabst Blue Ribbon was announcing a hard coffee beer. This is the worst idea I've heard since sea salt and black lime beer. Upon sharing this news, I listed it as a terrible beer for a terrible idea, and that sparked a little bit of interest, or should I say controversy, for some people who actually argued in favor of Pabst Blue Ribbon, which was uh, not expected. An old high school buddy of mine named Travis Ward, hope you're watching, uh, actually argued in favor of Pabst Blue Ribbon, which was uh, surprising. He said, you know, it's not as bad as I remember. And another high school buddy of mine, Chris Wilkerson, also hope you're watching, uh, also stood beside him in this argument saying, actually, it's not that bad. So I'm doing something this week that I never thought I'd do, and that's try Pabst Blue Ribbon. There's a funny story that kind of goes into how I acquired this beer because I did not want to go out and buy a six pack of Pabst Blue Ribbon. So I was trying to find the tall pint cans, couldn't find them, tried a gas station, tried a Kroger, no luck. So eventually I went to one of my usual spots to get craft beer for Porter and Ale and just, you know, they allow the pick and choose and make your own six pack kind of thing. So I picked up a Pabst Blue Ribbon along with a few other choice beers that hopefully I'll feature on the show. All the beers scanned, but this one. And the guy said, don't worry about it. So I got this for free. Thank you for giving me this for free so I didn't have to put down any money to get this beer to try it out on this show. This is a, an original past Blue Ribbon beer, nature's choicest, choiciest, choiciest is what it says, choiciest product, provides its prized flavor. Only the finest hops and grains are used. Selected as America's best beer in 1893. It's a long time since 1893. It's been well over 100 years. I'm going to throw this in my Untapped glass. Not a sponsor, but, you know, go check them out. Follow us on uh, Untapped. Now, we've given a lot of hell to Paps Blue Ribbon and other terrible beers in the past. And I say terrible because it does kind of fall into that category when people talk about bad beer. Paps Blue Ribbon is on that list along with Milwaukee's Best and Natty Ice. And if you're one of the people who like those beers, I'm sorry. That's why you get a 12 pack for five bucks. Based on that recommendation, based on what they said, I thought I would give it a go because who knows? It may not be as bad as I remember. It's nice, it's clean, it's golden. You see all the little bubbles going up everywhere. So it looks like it would be a good beer. Smells pretty good, I mean, for beer's sake. I mean, it smells like a beer, but it also has the smell of a beer that you can smell on people. You know what I mean? You know, when they just drink a lot and you smell them, you'd be like, oh, you're, you've been drinking about a 12 pack today, haven't you, buddy? I don't have high hopes for it, but I would like to be surprised. So, let's give it a go. It's not bad. I'll say that. It does go down smooth, but it doesn't have any distinct flavor to it that makes it stand apart and makes it say yes this is a great beer that you can put on the shelf but comparatively to something like a budweiser like porter and i had uh an episode ago equal to maybe i mean it's not the greatest beer in the world but guess i can kind of concur it's not as bad as i remember you know which should be their tagline paps blue ribbon not as bad as you remember so i'm surprised i mean it's it's really not a bad beer Another thing you'll notice too, and this is part of the conversation that happened on Facebook, is this is in a bottle. Now, another part of that thread on Facebook that was discussing the uh, greatness that is Pabst Blue Ribbon was that beers taste better out of a can. Now, I have usually argued in favor of a bottle, but one of our last episodes on Porter and Ale, Porter did argue in favor of cans 
Travis also argued in favor of cans, talking about the freshness of the can. You know, it's sealed tight and it's gonna last longer. Bottles do have a tendency, even though a lot of them are darker tinted. You have green bottles, you have clear bottles, and they allow that skunky smell that kind of comes with a beer because the sun has attacked in essence, the beer, and kind of ruined what makes it a good beer. Some people like the skunkiness, but I, I personally do not. You know, it's just, it's not me. So I started looking into the can bottle debate to try and see if there is a definitive answer, which is better. Is it a can? Is it a bottle? Cans are trash. Bottles are for babies. So there have been numerous studies to see if one is better than the other, and if you can even tell. Because outside of the skunkiness that you get with clear bottles, you also get a metallic taste in some canned beers. We have got proof of that on an older episode of Porter and Ale with the Sapporo. With these studies, what was found is very telling because each study, no matter how which way it went, always came to the same conclusion, and that is there is no difference. But a lot of the studies showed that half of each group could not tell the difference. I'd say it's really a matter of preference at this point, which you prefer, can or bottle. I don't really think it matters, but freshness does matter. So if you get a bottle and it tastes skunky, it's been exposed to light. If you've got one in the can and you get that metallic taste, it's not fresh. It's been in that can for too long, so therefore you have a bad beer. So again, really a matter of preference here, but it's very fascinating to find out that we get it all mentally crammed in our head that it's gotta be one or the other, and you know, it really doesn't matter as long as you're enjoying your beer. And you know what? I say enjoy your beer. So guys, what do you think? Do you enjoy Paps Blue Ribbon? Have you ever tried it? Have you tried it before, didn't like it, and you haven't come back to it since? Maybe go out and try one and see what you think because you know what? I gotta say, not as bad as I remember. And are you a can person? Or are you a bottle person? Leave your comments in the bar section down below. Thank you so much for joining me. Enjoy your Friday afternoon and I'll see you next week.